Hey everyone, so if you watched any of my previous videos, you know I'm a pretty big fan of Nick by Google. Sometime in the last couple of months, I actually updated my OS and at the same time I updated my Creative Cloud Photoshop and I don't know which one it was, but somewhere along the line, Nick actually stopped working and here's what it does. So if you go up to uh, filter, Nick Collection, let's just click on Color Effects Pro. So everything launches as normal. Let's just go ahead and apply this. We'll apply the white balance. And then if you click OK, it just completely shuts down. And then it forces you to go back into Photoshop and then reopen it. So here we are back in Photoshop, back to where we were. And I'm going to show you the fix that I found online after searching. Again, I didn't know what caused it. I had done a bunch of different things. So I started shooting with the Sony a7R II and I thought maybe the huge file size was causing it. And then I found, you know, that wasn't necessarily the issue because I was having problems with my older camera. And then, like I said, I updated the OS at the same time and the new um, Photoshop and Lightroom. So. After doing some searching online, here's what people said actually worked and I gave it a try and it actually worked. So I figured I would make a quick video and show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and launch ColorFX Pro again. So we'll just apply that same exact uh, filter that we had. But before we do that, we want to come down here to settings. So if we click on settings and then you have different tabs down here. So if we click after clicking OK, and then change this. So default is apply the filter effect to a separate layer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change that to apply the filter effect to the current layer and then click OK. So now if we go in, click OK, it applies everything as you would expect. The only, the only downside to this is it no longer applies it on a separate layer. It applies it directly on the layer that you select. So before you would get a layer above and you would get a mask if you selected that. You don't get that option anymore. So if we hit Command Z, it'll undo. So what you wanna do now is you wanna make a separate layer that's just for your Nick adjustments. And you wanna make sure that when you go in Go into the different ones that you use. So if we go into Silver Effects Pro, you can see down here in the after clicking, I've also changed that here. So now if we apply that, you'll see that it will just apply to that uppermost layer. And then you can go in and do your masks off of that. So just a quick tip. I know after I posted the last video, there were some people that encountered this same problem with their next software. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you learned something. And until next time, take care.